so you want to know how much it costs to live in Seattle, Washington. This video is all about Seattle and the surrounding areas and how much it costs to live here. I am a real estate agent in the Seattle area. I am a native to the state and I have lived here my entire life. I love it here. In this video, I'm going to go over the cost of living in Seattle, Washington. Everything from utilities, housing, food and groceries, and transportation. If you have any questions regarding Seattle, Washington, or the surrounding areas, please feel free to contact me. People reach out to me all the time and I would love to help you. Seattle's cost of living is quite high compared to the national average. It is approximately 72% higher than the average for the United States. We do have a high average income to make up for it though. We have a lot of large employers here. Boeing, PacCar, Google, Amazon, Microsoft are just to name a few. Okay, so your number one expense is always going to be housing. So let's take a look at that first. The median housing price in King County, Washington, which is the county in which Seattle resides, was $780,000 in February of 2022. But one thing to know, our housing appreciated almost 12% last year and the year before. When you are looking at housing costs, Seattle Metro is going to be more expensive than the surrounding cities or neighborhoods. We will look at a map of cost of living in Seattle in just a little bit. The least expensive house that I can find right now on the MLS that is livable in the King County area is $400,000. If you were buying this house in the city limits of Seattle, it would be $700,000 and probably a fixer. The least expensive condo is about $285,000 in Seattle, and that has homeowners association dues of $300 a month. Let's look at renting a house. Renting a studio apartment in downtown Seattle starts at about $1,500. A three bedroom house starts at about $3,000. Utilities in Seattle, Washington are actually lower than the national average for the United States. It's approximately 68% of the average. Depending on how efficient your house is, I would say that water, power, sewer, and garbage would run you anywhere between $350 and $500 a month. Then you have to figure in cable and internet bills. It depends on how many channels you have, but the lowest price you can pay for cable that I am aware of is $89 a month. Internet, you can get unlimited for $50 a month. How do you get to work? I just filled up my tank the other day and gas was $4.99 a gallon and is going up as we speak, but we are in the middle of the Ukraine and Russia war. Hopefully someday that will come down again, but before this all started, it was about $4 a gallon. You then have auto insurance, which of course depends on your driving record and your age and the type of car you have, but it should be somewhere around $100 a month. We do have a lot of transit sources. The Sounder train goes from South Tacoma, Lakewood area to Everett, Washington. It is $11.50 for a round trip ticket. The light rail train is really being expanded and goes from SeaTac area to Northgate. It is $6.50 for a round trip ticket right now. There's also an express bus that is $3.25 a trip. It really just depends on how fast you want to get somewhere. Now all of these transit systems have lower rates for low income seniors or disabled or kids. There are quite a few bike lanes in downtown Seattle as well. Food costs. Prices have definitely risen in this area as well. We are seeing a lot of inflation lately. Some of the basics though, milk is about $3 a gallon, bread $5, eggs are about $1.50 to $2 for a dozen, apples are $2.50 a pound for the good ones, which is ironic since we are the apple state. Beer is approximately $1 a bottle. Our liquor prices are very steep compared to other areas I've been. Phoenix and California are much less expensive. And we have a high tax on our liquor. In my experience, our food prices are definitely higher than Arizona, 
but they are much less expensive than Hawaii. It is definitely cheaper to cook meals at home. I sometimes will use some of the meal delivery services. HelloFresh is my favorite. If you'd like to try a free week, look in the description below. There's a link there. If you go out to eat, it is much more expensive, of course. If you want a good burger, it would cost you anywhere from $18 to $25 in a good restaurant. Not fast food, of course. Dining out in most places is going to be $18 to $25 per person. A cocktail in a nicer restaurant is going to be anywhere from $15 to $18. A beer is around $7 to $9. You can still get a draft beer in a dive bar for $4. Or you could get a Pizza Hut special for $10. Let's take a look at this cost of living map. It is a map of the greater Seattle area, the northwest corner of Washington. If you take a look at the really dark maroon colored areas, Bellevue, Sammamish, Redmond, Mercer Island, those areas are the highest housing prices and the highest cost of living. The little bit lighter magenta pink color is going to be the next highest cost of living. So that is the Seattle proper Kirkland, Kenmore, and a few scattered areas. As you go south of Seattle, SeaTac, Fairwood, Renton, Des Moines, Burien, Auburn, which is not on this map, um, or if you go north of Seattle, Linwood, Mill Creek, Mount Lake Terrace, th those are the areas with the lower cost of living near Seattle. It still is quite high at 130% of the average. If you have any questions regarding the Seattle area or any of its surrounding cities, put a comment below or reach out to me. I am a local realtor in Seattle, Washington, and I would love to answer any questions you have. If you are planning on relocating to the Seattle area and you would like some more specific information or tips about the area, then please reach out to me anytime. There is so much to share with you about Seattle and the surrounding cities, I can't fit it all into one video. I can help you with specific neighborhoods, schools, restaurants, things to do. Just give me a call.